Hello everyone this is Ishika the volunteer of applied forensic research and sciences this video contain the topic investigation in hit and run cases the content of the video are first introduction second what is hit and run cases third sections of hit and run cases fourth punishment of hit and run cases fifth hit and run laws six problems in hit and run cases seventh what should not be done after the hit and run cases eighth conclusion and the last is the reference introduction hit and run cases has become a frequent norm of road accidents in india in simple words hit and run accident can be described as a case where an individual hits another vehicle while driving and flees away from the spot it is criminal as well as civil responsibility of the driver to report a road mishap concerning their vehicle Now what is hit and run cases hit and run includes any accident where a vehicle hits a person object or a vehicle and the driver knowingly leaves the scene without providing their information hit and run statutes vary from state to state it is not a violation of constitutional protection against self incrimination to be required to stop and give this informa- information since it is a report and not an admission of the guilt sections of hit and run cases section 279 304a and 338 of ipc are imposed on victims of hit and run cases section 279 under this section it is stated that any person who drives vehicle rashly on the public road will be guilty person found guilty under this section have to face the imprisonment for 6 month fine of rupees 1000 or both can be imposed on the driver the offense committed under this section is violable and is cognizable by the district magistrate section 304a under this section it is stated that if a driver is not intoxicated but leads to the death of the person in the accident then he or she will be liable under this section the driver may face imprisonment of year which may extend up to 2 years with a fine of rupees more than 1000 or both the offense committed under this section is non violable offense now section 302 under extreme condition police may book a rider under this section this section deal with the offense of murder Driver book under this section might face the imprisonment for life or death penalty. Punishments of hit and run cases. Three hundred four is non-violable offence, and an individual can be convicted by lifetime imprisonment. In extreme cases, the police may also report hit and drive case under three hundred and two, which is a section related to the murder. A driver book under this section three hundred two may face a death sentence or life imprisonment. Now, death of the victim has to pay rupees twenty five thousand. Circumstances: old compensation, bodily injury of the victim, rupees twelve thousand five hundred. Now, hit and run laws. First, if you get a moving violation, you can remove the points on your license by taking a defense driving course. But a hit and run is more serious offence. It is the type of the offence that can easily come with jail time, very hefty fines, and driver license limitation. Second, hit and run laws vary from state to state. They can be traffic infraction, mis- misdemeanors, or felonies depending on the severity of the accident, total amount of property damage, and the cause of the accident. One thing is consistent in every state. the consequences for hit and run are much worse than stopping and taking the responsibility third besides these getting away with a hit and run is much more difficult than many people think consider how many parking lot camera doorbell cameras are used today or how many potential witnesses there were that you didn't notice some people have even attempted to file a false report to cover up hit and run only to find they now have an additional false insurance claim charge Problems in hit and run cases are the biggest issue in a hit and run is the absence of the direct evidence. Usually, there is no hard evidence to put the culprit at the crime scene. This makes it very difficult for the police to pursue the investigation. Sometimes, due to the speeding vehicle and lot of rush, even witnesses aren't able to help with the investigation. Also, the witnesses often don't want to be entangled in legal framework. The police have to rely on indirect pieces of evidence in such cases. the investigation require very precise and careful monitoring of the crime scene what should not be done after the hit and run accident if you are involved in hit and run accident then you must avoid doing certain things and those are first do not try to run from an accident spot 
Second, try to get the vehicle at the safe place. Don't wait in the travel lane. Third, do not leave the accident scene without collecting adequate information. Fourth, wait for the police to not block the traffic. Conclusion There have been many high profile cases of hit and run over the years, and many of which couldn't get as much attention. The usual reason find behind these instances is the rash driving, on road racing, drink and drive. The victims, either injured or dead, are left to suffer while the culprits run free. Even the compensation gift to the victim is too low as termed by the Apex Court. A bill is pending in the parliament to increase the same from 25,000 to rupees 2 lakhs. MCQ What is the first step in the accident study? The options are A. Accident data collection B. Accident investigation C. Accident data analysis D. Accident reconstruction So the correct answer is A. Accident data collection Thank you for watching. Hope you guys understand this video. If you have any type of queries, just comment in the comment section.